Hey there guys and welcome to Get Going Fast where we're going to get you going in hopefully a quick and efficient manner in which you might actually learn something along the way. So we're going to just make a real quick video today covering two persistent errors that have been popping up with Comfy UI lately. Uh, one is a Zod schema error, okay, not general zod from uh, superman but a thank god right um that'd be more than i could handle but uh something having to do with the validation of our workflows just our workflows maybe not being done exactly correct and then another error that we've been getting revolving around uh saying that our default um, security settings are not set high enough and that really is a pain in the butt when we're doing custom nodes um, installing them and then we get this error so real easy fix is just going to take a couple minutes I'm going to show you this is going to be a very helpful uh, video for you so hang in there it's only going to be like five minutes and we'll get through it before doing that though thank you so much for liking the channel and uh, sharing the videos with people getting people involved in the um, AI community it really is an excellent hobby so uh, you know calling up that person you haven't talked to in 20 years since high school and being like uh, you know I was just thinking about you the other day and um, I know we haven't talked since high school but um, have you heard about get going fast what's your thoughts about ai and that is so normal they will very be happy to hear from you i'm certain and uh really open doors so thanks for doing that i really appreciate that you're very committed and i like that about you so we're going to go ahead and move on with this quick video and before we do that thanks for liking the instagram following us on x all that good stuff hitting the notification buttons and uh okay all of that aside Let's move on with fixing our comfy UI errors, yo! Okay, so first thing we're going to do is pop on over to our comfy UI. Now, um, the error that pops up sometimes doesn't pop up all the time, and there's a certain reason it doesn't pop up all the time, but is this one where you're going to get it, and it says um, invalid workflow against the Zod schema okay so this is a very obnoxious error when it does pop up because everything you do whether you undo something or you click something the error keeps popping up over here and then it will just keep building down okay what is that okay what it means is it means that your workflow is not correctly formatted so the thing you got to remember is when you're dealing with workflows you're dealing with something that somebody on the internet just put together okay so some some dude said i'm going to create this and here's my workflow and it could have errors so these aren't coming from microsoft this isn't come from google this is coming from guys like you and me yo all right so they can have errors in there and you know god bless their heart yo thanks for putting it out there we ain't dogging on them we're just saying that that sometimes errors come up so the zod schema is the correct format so just like when we're doing something in python we're doing something in visual basic or or some kind of language it looks for a certain structure of of programming and it says is this in the correct structure so if the workflow is not in the same structure it tries to validate the workflow and it says yo this is not i can't validate it and it throws an error okay so what we got to do is we just got to turn it off now this isn't extremely uh this isn't an extremely um dangerous thing to do um, but you know, it just means you can get errors once you turn this off. If a, if a legitimate error that's going to crash something down comes up and this is off, it's not going to tell you. Okay. But this isn't a high risk change. Okay. Um, especially if you're using a workflow that does it a lot and you, and you know, the workflow works, it just, maybe it's got like something a little wrong. So what we do is we go down here to the bottom of the screen and there is this little cog button here okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click that and you're going to notice it brings up our settings page okay from here all we got to do is we're going to go up here to where it says search settings we're going to click there and let's just type in the word validation or so you can just put valid and it's going to bring up this it says validation validate workflows just turn it off okay all you got to do there is no save button there is no nothing once you click it it's set so notice if we go out of it we click mm -hmm. on something else and we go valid it brings up the same thing so it's done you turn that off 
okay, uh, that error will stop popping up. So essentially what it's saying, you're saying like, I, I understand there might be errors, but it's okay. We're going to let it roll. Okay. We're going to let it ride, yo. And, uh, and those errors will stop popping up. Okay. You can always turn it back on later once you're done working with the particular workflow or just keep it off, you know, and understand that if something doesn't work, it doesn't work. Okay, so now the next error that we're going to work with is one that usually comes through our ComfyUI Manager. We click up onto here, okay, and we obviously are doing our install missing custom nodes. So a lot of times when we're running these workflows, they require particular nodes. And these, uh, and again, it's just some guy like you or me or some gal like you or me um, that has just wrote this workflow and they're, um, they've created these nodes. So sometimes they create nodes. So like this guy, Kijai, who is just like, you know, the, the you know, comfy UI king, right? He writes certain stuff. And he says, um, you can do all this cool stuff, but you have to have a particular node, okay, to, to run it. Again, nodes are these things, okay? They're these boxes that we use. These are all nodes, and underneath them, they have code. If you want a further explanation, I have a video over the Comfy UI tutorials playlist, and you can find out more about this in depth. But these are all nodes, and to do certain things, to expand, look like this one, to expand, to do instrumental, incremental expander, <laughs> expand rate, tapered corners, that all has to be programmed. So they create nodes. When we don't have the nodes installed, because how could we, when you got 18 million people creating 18 million nodes, and you have 18 million workflows using those 18 million nodes, you have to have access to them. So a lot of times what we can do is just click this install missing custom nodes it looks at our workflow finds the nodes that are missing and it can download them for us however yo sometimes when we get in here uh it won't do something because it says your settings are uh your default security settings are not set correctly and that is something that the comfy ui manager sets up so we need to change our security settings again it's like windows you know how like when you're installing on windows you'll download something that says hey i don't know that this is a safe file and it says we're just going to block it for you now you obviously have to be very careful turning stuff off because you don't want to get bad um, workflows or you know on your windows you you would be very careful with your security settings to make sure that you're not letting viruses in and this sort of stuff but um you might grant it permission to say okay well let's let's keep some security but let's let's bring it down a little bit so essentially we have to do the same thing here with our comfy you I all right so how do we do that you ask well I am glad you asked that is a very excellent question all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to pop over to our file Explorer okay and we go to a, where our comfy UI folder is set up so we go inside our comfy UI okay then you can tell you're inside now because this is where all the files are all right and what we're gonna do is look for this folder called user Okay, we're going to click on user, then we're going to click on default, and we're going to click on Comfy UI Manager, and then yo, check it out. Here's a folder called config.ini. Okay, not a big deal. What we're going to do is we're going to right click on it, and then we're going to say edit in Notepad, and it is going to pop up a window. So let me go ahead and get that popped up for you. And it looks like this. Now, you're going to scroll through all this. You don't need to worry about all this, but you're going to find this one here that says security level. Okay. And what it's going to say is when it first, when you first load it up, it's going to say normal. God, if I could get that caps lock off. Okay. It's going to look like that. Security level equals normal. So all you got to do is double click on the word normal and type weak. Okay. And then we do that. Then just hit Control S or go hit your file, hit your save. And then we can go back to our browser. We can now go ahead. I mean, maybe reload the whole thing, you know, or reload the server. You know, you can always hit restart to reload your server. And then when we go ahead and install your missing custom nodes, it's not going to give that error anymore. Okay, so again, just keep in mind that you're dealing with um, security issues here. So you are lessening the security 
on your system by doing this. So don't blame me if something goes wrong. I'm letting you know the risks that come with doing this. I'm just telling you how to fix it, okay? Um, so don't go to a website with a bunch of pop-ups, this and that, and nude women and, 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 and illegal gambling and this and that, and then get a workflow and then, you know, from the site that does 20 pop-ups just to get the workflow um, and then put it in here and expect that something bad is not going to happen. That's just common sense, you know. Um, you, uh, yeah, yeah. So anyway, so just know, but uh, typically if you're hanging out in the community and you're, uh, you're hanging out in Reddit, you're hanging out in these places where people are using these sort of things, watching sites that are credible, um, these people have an idea if something is good or bad. So, you know, you kind of can stick with the crowd with this sort of thing. And anyways, that's how you can solve it. And you could always put it down install the um the thing that you need and then set the security back to normal um you have that ability to do that all right well we're going to end it there hopefully that was helpful for you fixing your zod schema errors and fixing your um can't install because the security settings are too weak very common errors that people get very frustrating but you know what now you know how to fix them and you know no one is half the power all right well you guys have a good day we will catch up with you later and always be good to each other yo